He actually put his up. <laughs> Press escape to ignore them. Oh, flashing lights. Okay. For some of you that are out there and you have photosensitive epilepsy, I'm turning this off for you guys. I'm turning it off for you guys. I don't have it, but I'm being safe for you. So we have Friday Night Funkin' Cruel Whispers that was made by Moral Productions. Okay, uh, since this is brand new for me, so I gotta go to options first. Controls? Yeah, that's what I thought. I gotta have my usual DFJK, and then I'm gonna change the reset to 5. Or 4. That way it's not confused with S. So, reset? Yeah, so reset button is gonna be number 4 on the top of the keyboard. Because there are times where I tend to fat finger, and if I go to press the F button, I will also press the R button as well, and that's the kill button for most of the mods. Uh, adjust the... what? Adjust the light? No. Oh! Oh, the art style for Boyfriend looks so good. Uh, gameplay? I, al I always go down scroll- oh. Disable the reset button. You know what? I changed it to 4, so there's no need for me to change it now. Hit sound volume, rating offset, blah, 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 blah. Visuals and AI. No splashes, yes. Hide the hood, flash the light. Okay. So I think that's it. So, I think that's it for options. Let's do this. Who are you? Version versus Quinn? Who is this? Luminary? Why does it... Wait, what? This looks so good! Pause. What did I- <laughs> What did I just hear? You heard the freaking high-pitched whistle as it goes by? What- Was that- Oh my god. Oh, don't tell me that was the freaking, uh... Oh, what, what am I thinking of? Uh, when you- When you cross the finish line in Mario Kart DS. <laughs> That's what it made me think of. Moro, I swear to God, if that was what you did, props to you because that's nostalgic. Mario Kart DS was my very first Mario Kart game. Those are really throwing me off. Oh, 
The jump is so funny, though. The duck. Seven HP, not bad. I like that. Stage two versus I Ivy. Who are you? I don't know these people. Cosmos by DPZ. <laughs> Oh, wait a second. Hold on, this actually slaps. Hold on. Okay. That's where the freaking jump comes into play now. Oh, that's gonna be scary. I took out half of my health. Damn. Silix! This is the one I was looking for. Okay, for those of you that don't know, okay, for those of you that don't know, this mod was made by Moro Productions. Silix is the mascot for Moro Productions. So now I am going up against the man, the myth, the legend himself. Right idea. Wait, there's. Wait, what? Is there vocals or something? It says vocals. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. 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 So if it's pink, I jump. If it's so if it's a pink fireball, I jump. If it's a normal looking fireball, I duck. Got it. How? Okay, never mind. Ow.
What the hell? What in the hell was that, Moro? That was so good. Final boss, Vorex. Okay, I only knew Silix. I don't know Vorex. Oblivion, but Camix. Okay, I took a risk. Okay, I took a risk on that one. I was thinking about the same, uh, like the same mechanic as it was for Silix. Like pink, it was gonna be jump, and then yellow is gonna be duck. Duck. So I was right. Apparently, I got lucky on that. Otherwise, it would have been a freaking one. Sh like I'm already at fifty HP. I start off at fifty. What the hell? Okay, so don't touch those notes. Am I just forever stuck at 75 at max? Okay, so this game over card right here where it's uh like it shows the progression of the song. Is that supposed to be reminiscent to Cuphead? <laughs> well now we've seen the freaking game over screen and okay, I'm still baffled by the fact it's by the freaking Oblivion song here is by Canix. He's a good YouTube musician. Also, now I know the, like, those hazy purple notes, I don't touch at all. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Holding, holding. What the fuck? God damn it. It's so rough when I get to there. <laughs> Cause Oh like there's so many purple notes it's hard for me to keep track.
Holding. Holding. background on this is amazing. Wait, the the score I got on that final song was 2000 200,000 even. Also, Involved in this? Oh, dude. Special thanks to Sugar Ratio. Celestial Maze. Sugar Ratio. Okay. Yeah. Sugar Ratio, for those in the Friday Night Funkin' community, know the best is. Uh, wait. We made this FNF mod as a send off to our time in the FNF community, despite its ups and downs. The modding community is one of the best I've ever seen. The passion and effort to create something great or fun is unlike anything in the mining team. Video games. Getting the chance to work with so many talents and to inspire people is an honor. I won't despite it only being two or three years. Thanks for playing the mod tomorrow. I was reading that as fast as possible. Okay, that's a good mod. I need to double I need to look at the credits again. Okay, uh let me take away my webcam real quick. So we have Art and Assets, Iku Aldena, Director and Animation, Moro, Coding, Smoky, Sector, and Shadowfy. Charting was Cal and Bunger. For music, you have Zoro, Kamex, Break Kazaras, DPZ, and Mike Gino, who is best known for the Midfight uh, mid Masses mod with Sarvente and Rove. Vocals, you have Chloe Eves, I know her best from DA Games, alongside Iku Aldena, the same artist here, and then Kamex, musician, and a special thanks to Sugar Ratio, best known for his uh, Friday Night Funkin' Entity work, and the creator of Nikusa, 
And then special thanks to Celestial Maze. I don't, I don't think I recall who Celestial Maze is actually. But regardless, that was a great mod, and I know it's not going to be. I don't know if it's going to be likely or not, but if there is ever going to be an update to the Cruel Whispers mod here, I would be more than happy to revisit it sometime, uh, some point in the future, because this was so good, and I love it.